little mouse in here with me. Yeah, little masses. Hey, we're slipping in here to the New Harbor Freight. Gotta get some strats. I think I'm gonna get these right here. They're Black Friday sale, $7.99. Okay, we're headed back over to the farm. We got a big thing going on today. We gotta pull the head off the sawmill. Burn a clutch up on it. We're gonna just not mess with it. We've been talking about upgrading the engine. So today we are going to pull the head off of the sawmill with a crane, set it in the back of the truck, bring it to the house, take the tractor and set it out on the ground and put it in the shop. And we're gonna put a new engine and a new heavy duty clutch on it. We're going from seven and a half horsepower to 18. That's not insane at all. So we burnt the clutch up on the little frontier sawmill. Well, to be honest, I burnt the clutch up because Tanya's never touched it. Even so, this is the time that we're gonna go ahead and pull the sawmill head, bring it back to the shop, and then we will we're gonna put a big engine on it. Hey, follow us along here as we go ahead and pull this head off. I kind of show you everything, the good and the bad. Keeps it from tip, tipping over left and right. I got one on the other side. All right, so let, those two are latched out of the way. That's the only thing holding this up or keeping this from being lifted off. All right, let's put our tools out of the way. I feel naked because I don't have my leather in me. That bag getting away, buddy. Uh, yeah, could be a chicken strip in that dude, right? So I got a couple of shackles is what I've got here to put on the on the sawmill to lift it up. The chain will not go through the, the little eyelets. It's too big to go through the little eyelets. So what I'm gonna do is get this thing ready to lift. I'm gonna put, I'm screw this thing in here a little bit out of the way, put a little pressure on that spring. It just moved over, no big deal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lower the head all the way down because I want the center of gravity to be as low as possible. I feel, I've got some fluid up here still. I really wish I didn't, but I'm not gonna drain it just for this. So I've taken all the slack off of the cable. And then we've got these eyelets that come with it to lift. This is the lift points. Should be pretty balanced. But like I said, if, again, the, the uh, eyelets are too small for the chain to go through. So I run by the Harbor Freight and grab two of these little shackles and those should be more than should be more than enough to. They're rated at I forget how many pounds, but way more than this thing. I think three thousand pounds. These are rated at, and I would imagine this head maybe weighs four or five hundred pounds at most. take the crane hopefully we have enough height that we'll be able to lift this up with a crane over this beam and set it in the back of the truck 
we are, if not, that's going to change things dramatically. Well, I mean, I think if, if it's not, if we don't have enough height to get over this, I think we can still swing it out and around the beam and then raise it up and sit in the back of the truck. Well, if it's got to go in the back of the truck, so if it drops, it drops. Well, you brought it up, not me. All right, so the old truck has not been started up in a couple of weeks. Well, at least, yeah, I guess a couple of weeks. Hopefully, it will start. mouse in here with me. Yeah, little mouse just Went somewhere looking for a way out. Just need to get some mouse poison for sure. So there's little bitty mice in the, got in the truck cab of the truck out here. So we're gonna put mouse poison in the truck, or they're gonna eat the wiring harness out of it. He come out of the uh, he come out of the heater box. He was up in there making my house where that other. Remember how they the squirrels got in there? All right, so it's warming up. We gotta figure out a place here to put the drone real quick. I know I'm gonna get asked, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Ichabod crane truck crane will not lift all the way up and function if it's out of hydraulic fluid. This is a fact that I found out today. Not to worry, it was just a slow leak and I was able to fill it up at a later date and it works just fine. Probably need to fix the leaks though.